for military members and their families. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders is in studio now to tell us about a day that our nation's finest appreciated. Josh. Yeah, Brandon, those veterans waking up early for an event in honor of them. Costco calling the event their hero hour. In the early morning hours, close to 900 veterans from all over Kern County lined up for Costco's military special shopping event. Quite a bit of veterans here, so I imagine there's going to be a full house on both of them. Raymond Cruz was first in line as both Bakersfield locations opened their doors early to honor our nation's finest. Saturday morning, Costco's around the country opened two hours early celebrating active military members, veterans, and their families. Cruz served in Vietnam, and he says events like today weren't always the norm. It's, it's like an appreciation that Costco has given us, and I feel like it's us veterans should come over here and appreciate what they're doing for us. Something that we never had in the past, and now they're opening up to us veterans, and it's really good here in Kern County. Military members and their families were able to connect with each other, sharing a love for country. Navy veteran Amanda Penko is also a Costco employee her past and present worlds colliding. It's, it's really strange to see all these vets here. It's an awesome experience um, knowing that we had 900 people sign up. The last time Penko was around this many veterans was during her time serving in the Navy on the USS Carl Vincent in 2012. Penko believes Costco's Hero Hour is a reflection of the nation's love for military and should be shared by other companies around the country. There's people who fought in our wars that didn't get that welcome home, that didn't get that like camaraderie. And so this shows that camaraderie, it kind of brings them back into the group as well. So it shows them that they're appreciated as well. Now, in addition to that hero hour, Costco offered a new membership deal for customers in the military who are not current members. Very cool. All right. Yeah, thanks for that, awesome. Josh. Good work by everyone there. To Lake Isabella now, the community reeled in some fish this afternoon as the 29th annual Lake Isabella Fishing Derby got underway. It started today and continues through Monday with fun activities for the whole family. Hundreds of trout were dropped in the lake, and if you catch the top trout, you could win $10,000. This year's Derby headquarters is the Lake Isabella Senior Center on Lake Isabella Boulevard. For more information on the Derby, just head to our website, Jordan23.com. Well, Easter came a little early for children in need. That's the Bakersfield Homeless Center held its annual Easter Egg Carnival today. That event was held at the center and is put on by the help of the community. It helps kids who live in the center celebrate the holiday and also just enjoy being kids. Organizers say that the children got to fish for toys, take part in an Easter egg hunt, get tons of candy, and best of all, the Easter Bunny even stopped by to join in on that celebration. Coming up next, it's time to dust off your kilt and break out your bagpipes as the annual Scottish Games are back in Bakersfield. Details on how you can still take part in those festivities. Plus, the rivalry between blondes and brunettes goes to the gridiron. Details on this year's blondes versus brunettes football game and the cause that it benefits. And temperatures are on the rise this week. Your full forecast coming up. Welcome back. We're continuing to follow breaking news tonight where part of the I-5 near the 99 split has been shut down after reports say that a vehicle hit a cow and then a pole in the area. A pole is reportedly down on traffic lanes and CHP says that four people have sustained minor injuries. Traffic is now being escorted in the area, so if you are heading that way or planning to be uh, keep that in mind, we'll of course continue to follow it as more information becomes available. Well, the sounds of bagpipes and the smell of haggis took over the Kern County Fairgrounds today as the annual Scottish Games returned. If you missed out on the festivities today, you still have a chance to take part tomorrow. The 23rd Annual Scottish Games got underway today. Organizers saying that you can visit the tea room, enjoy some scotch tasting, listen to traditional Celtic music, and watch the athletics competition. Your kids can also enjoy the petting zoo there. The event continues tomorrow. General admission is $15. Children between 6 and 11 years old get in for $1. And children under 5 years old, well, they get in for free. Well, it's an old rivalry, blondes versus brunettes, but this one is decided on the gridiron. It's all for a good cause. It was the fifth annual blondes versus brunettes football game. 